Virgo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I apologize for the delay. It's basically a three-day delay because I was traveling and was so exhausted. So um, I apologize. We will be back on normal schedule next week. Now, this is for Virgo Sun Moon Rising, wherever Virgo influences your natal chart or influences your life. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Pull up a chair because this reading is for you. These energies will tell you, give you a good understanding about what's happening with Virgo in general. Um, there's always an extended reading and that link is in the description box. It includes a full romance reading. So if you are looking for a romance reading, it's in the extended reading. Please go over there and enjoy. Um, but the full tarot card reading kind of delves deeper and articulates the energies we pick up on YouTube. So I hope you join me over there. There's a new Virgo video every single week. So please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so that you'll get the uploads as soon as they come up. So Virgo, where does my Virgo energy want to be? Where does it want to be? something about the heart space man really really things close to your heart virgo crowning your energy nothing is wasted um i think you guys are actually really great at this energy of treasure in a trash heap seeing and taking an opportunity um or turning what could be construed as a shitty situation and making it into something that's amazing uh, why because you're agile that way you're you're <laughs> there's so many ways that you are not agile but you are very agile in being able to look at things and find the value and find how to make them work and that's this energy it's your way of being able to emotionally um um uh, take yourself back from the situation um remove yourself emotionally from the situation enough so that you can see the value of what's in front of you or what 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 can be pulled out of this situation um that is good and it is sort of this determination this undying determination of yours to be able to make something out of nothing i'm telling you right now you do it so often when it comes to people <laughs> you're just like how can i fix you <laughs> so this could very well be that is you might have just gotten yourself another trash heap and you're trying somehow, some way to make a treasure out of them. Not saying that you can't, okay? Just saying, just uh, just saying that's what you're doing, that's what you're up to. <laughs> um, but Vulture does have a way of looking at the good, like seeing the bad and looking at the good. Vultures eat dead stuff on the road. But you know what? They're like nature's recyclers. Thank God for them, right? And it's like, listen, nobody else is eating it. And they don't have to go hunt. <laughs> so it's like, it's almost like they have that little bit of laziness in them too. That little streak of, um, I don't want to go hunt. I'm just going to eat what's there. And nobody else wants it, so I'll take it. And they do. They make it work, man. And and it's, it's almost ingenious in how they make it work. Because they've cut out the competition by making something that they absolutely need, which is food. Right? They absolutely need it. They cut out the competition by going after food that nobody competes for. Most animals just leave it there. Right? But they're like, all right, so that's how they cut, up, cut out the competition. They don't cut out the competition by flying higher. They don't cut, cut out the competition by being stronger. They cut out the competition by taking what nobody else wants and making it work. And that's pretty Getting smart of them if you think about it for a second. Um, but they're also in terms of, you know, Native American uh, totems. They are a bird of transitions, of something turning, something bad turning into something good or learning how to, like renewal and refreshment. It's like they're coming and cleaning it up. So some bad shit is about to be cleaned up out of your life. And 10 to 1, it's because of you and the way that you saw the opportunity through and the way that you saw the pathway through. This is the energy that's that's crowning your reading this week is something something is about to be cleaned up. This is a renewal period for you. Even if it is like a kind of a shitty situation, it's an opportunity to um, start over, start from the beginning, start from scratch again. So this is really nice energy for you, to be honest with you. You work with this energy very well because you work. You work. 
and you do have that kind of fierce determination to make things work is almost like the more hopeless a situation seems, the more you want to make it work. Let's get into how that's influencing you. So you see clearly now, and this is seven, four plus three is the energy of seven, and this is Aquarius energy. So making something work or maybe being given really good advice, because um, this is, could be sometimes getting counsel from somebody, somebody who can see in the dark, quote unquote, quote, somebody who is very wise, somebody who you trust. And it's hard to earn a Virgo's trust. So this is somebody who really knows their shit, um, you know, or being the wise one yourself and seeing in the dark, seeing in a place where most other people can't see the opportunity or potential, but being able to more than that, because this is about seeing potential. This is an energy of being able to see very clearly about what you have to do um, and determine what it is that is going to be required in that situation or take Taking counsel. This could be somebody in your life coming in to really give you some excellent advice on how do you get through the situation? What do you do? How do you see your way through? So if you have been in a kind of crappy situation, this is somebody coming in and directing you, somebody helping you out, somebody that you trust, or you being this person for somebody else. But it's definitely seeing the truth of something. And I think that that could also mean that you think you've seen the truth of somebody else. Like you think you've seen their real truth. You see very clear, you see into their soul. You're wise enough to see their true value because in combination with each other, it's almost like you're wise enough to see a value in something that other people don't. All right. Ah, we're going to say be at home. So this is uh, your home and heart space. Um, something that's very close to your heart, something that is, so it doesn't have to be necessarily love, but it's definitely something that lights up your heart chakra. Be at home. You've been spending a lot of time at home and maybe oh, it's almost like you're, you're with your family a whole lot and it's actually helping you because you, you wouldn't really want to be with anything else. It's almost like this is a really good time for you because you don't have to do anything but be at home. So that could be like this quarantine could be like the perfect scenario for you. It could be like the perfect situation in your life right now. You're just like, well, see, nobody's telling me I have to go out. So I'm just not gonna. <laughs> okay. Um, um, so that could be that could be it in a nutshell of, of being able to just, you know, be someplace where you feel safe and warm and protected. But I do think that this could also extend to um wanting to invite somebody in your home or or really having co co cozy comfy feelings towards somebody somebody who um just you just you care about a great deal there's a sense of um there's a sense of getting it like understanding the true value of especially this time or this moment in your life um, but it could also be something to do with an actual home, like structure, seeing the repairs that need to be rebuilt on it, seeing the issues, or it's almost like, say you were house shopping and you saw a fixer upper, <laughs> like that's what this energy is. It's like, but I want that one. It would be like that. It would be like, but I want that one. I know that there are others around the same price, but I want that one. It's like, you see this potential in this, like you see either it's an actual structure or home or it's your actual home. It's your home, your heart space home. It's like, I see a future there. I see a future with this person. I don't know why, I can't really articulate why, but I see it and because you see it, you'll create it. Um, be here now, wow. This is like a lot of air energy. Are you dealing with like Aquarius or Libra, Gemini? I'm really strongly Aquarius, but be here now. This is Libra. This is once again, making something out of nothing, the energy of seven, right? This is seeing the beauty for what it is and not asking it to be any, like seeing the beauty in it. It's almost like um, seeing the beauty in the small things because hummingbirds are so teeny tiny that you could, a lot of people mistake them for bugs at first. They mistake them for big bugs because they're teeny, but they're so beautiful up close. It's almost like you're begging people to see how beautiful this moment is right here, right now, or how beautiful this person is. It's like you're really seeing the true beauty and true value of this, of this. You're, you're seeing it. <clears throat> 
as if you could go in slow motion and know and 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 oh my god so beautiful you're loving this moment right now you are you feel safe you feel removed enough to feel safe. You feel like you get things. You feel your mind is clear. This is a really good moment for you. This is a really good energy for you. Take a leap of faith. This is luck. Um, this is listening to your, your inner being, your inner consciousness. This is your Jiminy Cricket card, and this is the central reading. So you're going to go with what you feel. You're going to go with that inner voice. You're not going to, even though you, you're getting really wise counsel, I think you, but you will take this counsel basically to help you get something done, not to advise you as to which to choose, because there is a sense of, or, or I could be wrong, and you could be like just going ahead and trusting somebody and taking a leap in faith of what they said. But I'm going to strongly recommend that you go with your intuition. Because this is the central energy for your reading. This is, this is you knowing. An inner voice inside of you telling you the right direction to go. And when you follow it and you jump in that direction, you're having so much good fortune. Like beyond belief. Like, like this could be... You know, maybe somebody's telling you, take that fixer upper, take that fixer upper, don't take the other houses, take that fixer upper. And you're, if your consciousness is telling you, your conscience is telling you, yes, take it. Don't let your conscience be convinced, okay? Follow your conscience. If you're hearing something that meshes with what your conscience is telling you, go for it. Because it's almost like that fixer upper. This is our extended metaphor here. <laughs> um, that fixer upper may turn into like maybe maybe the properties on an oil well. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like take it because this is a good investment. This is a really good investment. Even if it outwardly doesn't look like anything that anybody else would feel as special, it's almost like you're getting good advice or you see the potential. Listen to it. And that, that goes if it's a house that you want to buy or if it's a person you want to date, whatever. This is a sense of follow it along. Follow this path because it's leading you in the right direction. And then we have take time out. Also an energy of nine, which is you have a few more steps to take. Um, this is very protective energy. This is mama bear energy. There's a lot of home and heart space here. You could be dealing with your mother. You could be a mother yourself. You could be both. I know. Um, but this is um, defensive energy. Really trying to like create something that is reliable, dependable, and protected. Um, basically defending. Defensive. This is defensive energy. Hold on. Let's get some more information. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Finish the shuffle. All right. All right. Okay, lots came out. So, uh, take the lead. Yeah, okay. In other words, you're going to be protected along this path because spirit, these are two of the strongest totems. They're, this is the protective energy. This is like the strong arm and this is like the message from God. So in other words, yes, you need to take this risk because it's not really a risk. It's divinely guided. It's that spirit is saying, it's like when when you're getting this 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 message, you're getting it from the ether. You're getting the your, your antenna. Are, I know they're antlers, but it's almost like antenna is receiving messages from spirit itself. And white stag is spirit manifested into 3D embodiment. Okay, so this is basically spirit. Show, somebody has showed up in your life that is a manifestation of spirit. And you are protected. It is to protect you and guide you and lead you in the right direction. So trust it is what I'm saying, because you are divinely protected. And I kept seeing this card as I was shuffling, and I knew it was for you, and here it has come out. This has to do with the home and heart space. Once again, your family is protected. You are going to be okay. You are being protected by spirit or by a spirit or ancestors that are surrounding you and making sure that your family is going to stay safe and happy and healthy. 
This is also a sense of the relationship is protected. This is divinely guided. This is the direction that you should be taking. You can trust this person or purchase this house or make this investment because it's going to, you are protected. You are protected. You are protected. You are protected. To get those three things in a row, because this is shamanic healing. Uh, it's almost like if somebody in your life is sick, they're going to get well. There is health that's going to be restored. Maybe through some sort of divine intervention. I'm, yeah, I'm not kidding. Uh, be playful. Stay light. Stay happy. Um, stay on the surface. Don't go too deep. This, going to, this is actually going to be a very... It's going to be easier. Let's put it this way. It's going to be easier than you think. It's going to be easier than you think it's going to be if you just trust. And this is 11. 6 plus 5 is 11. So this is awakening to the reality that you're allowed to just let go. You're allowed to, you, like, you, you can trust this. You can jump in, in other words. Um, open to infinite possibilities. Wow. Whatever kind of energy is coming into your life, it is pushing you hard in the right direction. In other words, you're not even going to be able to mess this up, Virgo, because... It, you're so being, it's going to be so obvious to you that this is the direction that you need to go. And a star is shining on you. This is either a wish is about to come true. This is something that you've wanted for a very long time and is about to be fulfilled. Or this is the North Star. You can think about it like that. You are being divinely guided. Trust, just like the three wise men, follow the star, follow the star. This is the right direction, in other words, that you're going on. Or you're about to be publicly recognized if you're working on something in that context. Um, could be something like shining a light on your situation. You know, being healed, being the first person to be healed from this. And it's, it's like, you're going to get superstardom. You know, kind of like, kind of like thing. It has something to do with healing. A lot to do with healing. Um, trust in divine detours. Um, it could also be, uh, hold on, trust and divine. Deep. What did I say? First of all, this, this is more seven, 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 seven. Lucky number, a lot of abundance and something in the middle of being created for you as you speak. Trust in it. But there is this sense of, yeah, it is going to be a detour. It is going to come almost in a chaotic way. It is going, this is Sagittarius energy. It is going to be like rough around the edges and almost feel like this is a crazy thing to do. And normally, Virgo, and this is this is why you need to hear this message. Because normally, Virgo, you would immediately shut that shit down. You know, you're like, I don't take detours. But there's so much divine guidance here from such a trusted source. You're going to be like, no, we need to go that way. No, we need to go that way. And I honestly think the trusted source is you. <laughs> you're going to be like, no, we need to go that way. Because you're being divinely guided and you're trusting it. And it, and it's the best thing that you could ever do. Yeah. Um, set healthy boundaries. See, once again, I, I saw health. So it's almost like it, it, this has to do with health. It, I would not be surprised if you have somebody or you're somebody in your family like looking for alternative medicines and stuff. Being like, I know everybody's telling me that I'm supposed to do it this way. I'm not doing it that way. I know it's not right. I don't know why I know it's not right. But I don't. I don't, I don't trust it. And this is a sense of, you're right, you're going to be guarded. You're, you're protecting yourself by taking this risk. That's what you're doing. And it's the best risk that you will ever take. Grounding your energy um, is know your worth, basically, um, and give with gratitude and grace. Both of these are in reverse. Um, this is going to take a lot out of you. That's what this is telling me. It's going to take you being vulnerable, revealing a lot of yourself. Um, I think in, in, to a certain degree, you might already know this. Um, this is a sense of it's, it's, it. the decision is going to be easy to make, but not execute. Um, because it's not going to be easy to explain. Um, it's, 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 you're going to know it, you're going to make this decision, but it's not going to be easy to execute it. That's all it is. But listen, you're sticking with it because you believe in it and you're going to find a way. This is your energy. So this is you taking a situation that you know from the outside seems completely impossible 
and making it work and fix it, like fixing it. You're fixing something, you're building something and you are building in the right direction. Um, there is a, hold on, give me a second. Interesting. This is that last step right before you can do it. This leap of faith is the last step that you need because there has been a great deal of um, feeling like things have been taken from you um, and feeling like you've had to be somebody that you're not for too long in order to keep yourself going or happy. So there is a sense of great sacrifices having already been made to get to this point. And it's this, this point, this divine direct redirection that is actually going to take you to what you were praying for. Because this is your grounding energy. Nine plus nine and seven. Hmm. You know, it's almost like something, I'm going to say this, something that happened to you that took a lot out of you, that hurt you a great deal, is your foundation for knowing that the direction you're taking now is the correct one. So if you have lost a great deal of money in your past, it's based on that that you're going to know that this is actually not as risky as it seems. Um... It could be the loss of a loved one in the past. Maybe even there was a bad, maybe a bad breakup is, is what is actually helping you be sure. Or it's somebody, like I said, spirits are around you. So it's almost like there's divine intervention by somebody, by somebody or something that you lost is coming in to give you messages to say, you got to go this way. Follow me. I see what you don't type of thing really, really spiritual message. I'm going to get into it. We're going to go into full tarot spread. That link is below. And remember your reading, your romance reading. If you're looking for romance for Virgo, that's below as well. Please click the link. I hope to see you in the extended. Bye guys.